boys and girls. I, my house has been looking a little barren and I was thinking that I needed to make some decorations with the holiday that's coming up. Do you know what holiday's coming up this next weekend? If you said Easter, that's it. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can make some Easter eggs. One of them is you get a piece of white paper and then I just colored with crayons all different colors all the way across. I didn't finish but you just color back and forth and you try to fill in as much of the white paper as you can because the colors are what make these eggs look beautiful. Okay, so you can see I colored with my blue crayon first and I colored back and forth all the way across, filling in as much as I could. And then I did my light blue and that's the next one and I colored all across. Then I did my red. I colored and it's okay if you overlap and color part of the color that's next to it that's perfectly okay you want to try and cover as much of that white my next color was yellow and I colored back and forth and you can do big fat stripes of coloring or you could do skinny ones you could do um, different colors than I did whatever your favorite colors are orange was my next color and I went all the way down again and then my last color you saw me finish out was the green. And I used the green and I colored all the way across. So now I have a paper that looks like this. And then on the back, I traced egg shapes. And I'm, I got six eggs on, my, on the back of mine, but you might only get one or two if you use bigger eggs, um, to, if you draw bigger eggs. I'm gonna cut out one of the eggs and we'll see what it looks like when it's cut out on the other side because you saw what the other side looked like and then we're going to see does this egg have more than one color or just one color on it let's see oh look it has green and orange and yellow and just a teeny tiny bit of red on the tip of it and you can, you can place them different directions like I did, and that'll make them have different colors. So every egg will look different than the one that, the other ones that you cut out. So there's one that I, I did. Another way you can do it is just to cut out the white eggs. And then you get your crayons, and there's a couple of different things you can do. You can use markers or crayons. I'm going to start with the white crayon. And I'm just gonna do zigzags. Now you wanna push kind of hard. Oops, sometimes that paper gets pushed down and that's okay, just push it back up so you can do it. And I'm doing zigzags all the way across this white egg. Now, you can't see them real good, but you wanna push hard. If you do it light, this won't work. So you use your strong finger muscles and push, push, push. Okay, I did them. And then if you get a marker, and you color across, those white zigzags are gonna show up. You can color your egg all one color, or you can switch and do other colors. I'll show you a finished egg that I did earlier where I did it two different ways. So you just color with your marker, and wherever you drew with the white crayon, it won't color over it with the marker. Let's look through some of these eggs. Here's one I did that had zigzags and dots. Here's another one that I did that just had zigzags and I did it all yellow. And this one just had dots and I did it all red. You do yours however you want to do. Another thing you can do with your eggs is just draw designs. You could do patterns. You could do, here's, here's a marker one that we did where I colored the whole paper and then cut the egg out. You can do the same thing that I showed you with crayons. There's so many ways to do your eggs. I hope you make some eggs and hang them up around your house and then take a picture or have somebody go on an egg hunt to find all your beautiful decorations. Have a great week. Bye.